It's been 10 years since Bakrisa Grain Milling Granda Limited, known as Azam, started operating in the Kigali Special Economic Zone. More than 30 million US dollars was invested in this company, and it produces 500 tons of wheat flour per day, with 97% of the work done there by Randans. Uh, I have spent 10 years working at Azam. I worked here after finishing my studies, and I was single. I'm now married and have my own house, so I live well because of this job. Randans that work in a Zania group of companies have appreciated the fact that they got jobs in Tanzanian companies, which have transformed their lives. <laughs> It was hard before getting this job. It's a good thing that I got a job because of the good relation between Rwanda and Tanzania. I have a cow and two goats. And as you see, I'm still young. I will achieve more. The heads of Tanzanian companies that operate here in Rwanda have observed that the good relations between the two countries provide an important pillar of commercial development. Investing in Rwanda as Tanzanian investors help both Rwandans and Tanzanians, we are happy to operate in Rwanda and we are requesting other Tanzanian investors to invest in Rwanda because of the fact that it is a secured country. When you want information and legal documents, you only ask at one place and everything goes well. Rwanda is straightforward. straightforward. It pleases us when the political relationship keeps on progressing. We have reached on the level where Rwandans invest in Tanzania. We also have things like progressive group in media, in transport and so on. We believe that the more the relationship keeps on progressing, the more investment will occur in Rwanda because the most important thing is the political will. Tanzanian investors have not only invested in the industrial sector, but also in transportation and commerce. According to the United Nations Com Trade Database on International Trade, Rwanda exports goods to Tanzania worth 295 million US dollars every year. The Rwanda Private Sector Federation indicates that 90% of all imports passed through the port of Dar es Salaam. In 2019, Tanzanian investment in Rwanda were worth more than 5 million US dollars. Shislen Mugwaneza, RTV News.